The story of this cycle will be that Republicans won the Senate. Um, they increased numbers in the House. Um, it was a referendum on President Obama. The voters came out. If you told me that on Tuesday you'll be here in the war room, what does the war room look like? We've really focused on building a Republican National Committee that's different, that's focused on data. And so it's not just watching the election results, we're comparing it to our voter scores and seeing what we've learned through the analytics that we build about the voters. What are the early signs that you're going to look for of whether it's going to be a short night for Republicans or a long night? We see that we're winning in New Hampshire. I think it's going to be a really, really long night for Democrats. Republicans have either leads or have cut into what the Democrats need to have as a lead in states like Iowa. Uh, we're already seeing what you're talking about on election night for the early vote that's coming through, and we're doing so well that we're very optimistic about that. Say that Tuesday's results come out the way they look in the polls now, including governors. How is that going to set up the party for 16? I'm very optimistic about 16. Uh, we have such a stable of candidates. and We're the young party. We're the party of new ideas. And who are some of those young new voices? Well, I, you get in trouble when you leave people out of these lists. So, you, you know, we've got a lot of governors that are going to come through. We know Bobby Jindal, Scott Walker, Chris Christie, people that have been talked about running. You never know John Kasich. You never know Mike uh, Governor Snyder. See, Mike I'm trying Pence. to keep you out of trouble. Mike Pence uh, would be a great uh, person to run as well. There's plenty of uh, really, really qualified senators that are thinking about running Marco Rubio, Rand Paul, uh, some bringing a lot of young voters into the party. So I could go on and on. That's the point. We have so many really serious people that could be president of the United States. And it's not your problem, but you've clearly thought about it. How will 16 be different from 12? Well, 16 will be different from 12 because we'll be ready here at the RNC. Tell us something we don't know. What's something you learned from 12 that you've done differently this time and is working? It's a confluence of the tech and the ground game. The first thing is having people going door to door, focusing on human interactions, building relationships at the doors, using technology to help them target that, specifically with a smartphone app. Mike Shields, thanks for sitting down with Open Mic.